good morning youtube this is my queen's eye i'm back with a message for you guys um i'll i'll do the the card readings or messages later on um but right now i just felt like i needed to just come on and speak um i hope you guys are doing well Thank you guys for all of the support, all of the birthday wishes. They greatly appreciate it. I really, really appreciate all of you guys' love and support. Um, so I'm out here. I'm sitting out here. I'm sitting in, the, in Love Park in Center City here. And I was getting the movie, uh, The Italian Job. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but um, The Italian Job, I can't remember the father's name, but it was a group of men. Um, Most Death is in it, Mark Wahlberg, um, and a couple other people. Um, and they were planning to uh, rob Italians of all of their gold bars that they had. And I mean, it was like millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of gold. And um, it was the father's plan. And they had one guy in the group who wanted it all for themselves. And that one particular person um, he took out the source in hopes of the rest of the team falling down. And that wasn't the case because even though the guy that killed the source, he knew that that father had a child. He just wasn't fully aware of what she was capable of doing. And needless to say, that guy took out the wrong motherfucker. <laughs> he took out the wrong motherfucker. Um, and the guy that wanted the gold for all his for, for himself, it's like he didn't have an imagination. He didn't have um, any goals for himself. He just wanted what everybody else was going to get out of their cut. He was not his own person or his own individual. It was like he needed a piece of what everybody else was going to do or what everybody else was going to get. And he felt that that was going to make him whole. And he ended up losing. <clears throat> a lot of you could be going through that. Maybe similar, maybe not all the way through like that. But you guys could be going through something similar um, in dealing with someone or individuals. And sometimes you have to let things play out as much as you don't want them to or even if you feel like it should go a different way you have to let it play out and understand when I talk to you guys and when I speak to you guys I always talk to myself first <laughs> I always talk to myself first because it's things that's um, going on that I wish would play out a certain way but you know when we plan, we always have to remember that the Most High is the best of planners. He's the best of planners. So even if somebody or people think that they have gotten away with something or they're going to get away with something, understand that when they least expect it, it's going to be taken away from them. They're going to be removed. They're going to be banished. All of that. And it's coming. It's coming. Whether they want to believe it or not, it's coming. It's coming. 
and the individuals who are about to be removed or banished um or just have everything taken from them they they believe in their hearts that they get to say how long something should take <laughs> it really be the audacity <clears throat> it be the audacity because when they least expect it it's going to hit them like a ton of bricks individuals are losing control and they don't even realize it like how do you how do you feel as a human telling the most high how long he got to give you for your life and regardless if these people can can see their outcome or not it's 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 almost like why do you feel like you you hold uh a high standard like that for you to tell the most high hey listen i know you got this this date set for this to happen to me but if it don't happen if you don't do it in 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 seven days then I'm going to just assume that I'm not going to be taken up out of here. They could have been warned numerous of times. Things could have started happening in their life, whether you know about it or not. That's not your business. Your business is to keep moving and to keep uh, keep moving forward here. It's not to look back. It's not to look back so you can try to put your hand out or hold your hand out for somebody to be saved when they've been warned. If you are an individual where um where you're a medium and you communicate with with passed over loved ones it's people whose lives have been taken that communicate through you to individuals that have taken their lives some have taken heed others have not and the ones who really believe that nothing is going to happen to them or at least it's not going to happen when they think it should happen they've been warned and you really just have to let it play out you really just have to let it play out If it's individuals that's still playing in your energy with this bullshit. And again, I speak to myself first, always. <laughs> try not, try not to go in, okay? Clear your energy, yes. You can return to sender and all of that. But if it's somebody that's starting a spiritual war with you and they know, whether they know or not, but I'm talking about really for the specific ones that know that they should not be playing in your energy and they keep fucking playing in your energy, listen. <clears throat> whatever anxiety whatever fear whatever um you know uh projections they trying to send to you that's why they are doing it because they know 
1001 on the phone. They know they really don't stand a motherfucking chance. You are They don't stand a chance. They can send you 50,000 threats. They had their time. <laughs> they had their time. They had their turn. All of that. Numerous of times, though. That's the thing about it. Because if it really, if they really wanted to do their job, they would have did it already. But that should have let them know then that they don't control shit. 1044 was just on the phone. They don't control shit. You're too fucking protected out here. You got too much love in your heart for, for the most high to want to send individuals who, who don't even know what the word love means. You got too much love for you to be up out of here. A lot of you are supposed to uh, be here for, for a bigger purpose here. To bring love into this world. So if that's the most high, if that's what the most high want for you. Why do anybody that feel like because y'all bleed the same. Or y'all down here in this earthly, in this earthly realm. That they have dominion over you. <laughs> I just heard, keep your foot on their neck. Keep your foot on their neck. <clears throat> For some of you, these people have children. For some of you, individuals that been playing in your energy, take it how it resonates. Individuals that been playing in your energy, they have children. They don't even understand the type of situation they have put their children in. But if you look at it from their point, because you know, you can do that kind of shit. See, them kind of people, they only look at it one way. You, you look at the bigger picture. They don't even understand the type of cycle that they are about to leave their children in. For some of you, these people have taken out their own fucking children. And they really think that the Most High is going to let them take you up out of here when you're supposed to be bringing change and love and peace and harmony into this world. For some of you, this could be a false twin. That's been trying to hold you back from your real twin. And like I said in my, my, my video yesterday, for some of you, your real twin may have passed away. For others of you, the karmics believe that they're gone. Take it how it resonates. 1404 on the phone. For those of you where your twin has passed away already, that still doesn't stop your purpose. <laughs> and that's what people fail to realize it's like oh well we got we got the, the 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 emperor out the way or we got the empress out the way so they can't uh continue on with their purpose they can't continue on with their journey here and the most i said on who watch 1444 that's like this the ones and the fours I've been catching them a lot. Temperance energy. Emperor energy.
control what you can. Everything else, leave it up to the Most High. Leave it up to your ancestors. Leave it up to the angels, because they got it. They got it. This is why it's going to be so devastating to see what these people are about to go through, what they are about to witness in their own life. And it's interesting. I was watching a, um, a, a video yesterday. Miss Prosper Goddess Pay. Shout out. Prosper Goddess be really spitting that shit. You heard me. If you don't listen to her, go check her out. See, and that's the thing. I ain't never been a hater. If it's something that I feel like uh, my collective or anybody else for that matter, if I feel like it's a message in it for, 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 for anybody to hear, I'm going to put you on. Go check her out. But she mentioned something in uh, one of her videos yesterday. She said, you know, when people, you know, they be out here doing this magic and all of this, you know, they want to swap destinies and they want the emperor and the empress life or the divine one's life. And it's like, OK, be careful what you ask for, because while these people, while these people was putting you through anxiety putting you through uh heavy traumatic experiences sending demons towards you making you lose jobs making you lose money fucking with your health fucking with your kids and you not doing shit to these people listen 1707 on the phone listen that's gonna be their karma that's what they're going to receive. That will of fortune. That's what they're going to receive. Okay. You really want this person life? And the most high is going to tell these people. We 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 allowed you to do this here. Because we knew that this individual was going to withstand it. We knew that this individual or these individuals was still going to put on their big girl panties <laughs> or their big boy uh, <laughs> boxers and they were still going to make the best out of what they had. These individuals is not going to be able to do that shit, yo. They not. They not. And she said, real life, a lot of these people are really going to be strung out on drugs like they're really going to be homeless and nobody is going to pay them no attention they're not going to do nothing for them they're not even going to feed them now that's not to say that you guys have been homeless out on the streets and if you were and your life has turned around you give praises to the most high because that's where it's due but for these individuals that want to be you and they want to live your life, they want to have that title, they don't know what the fuck it means to hold that title. They not going to know what it means. While they was laughing and all that shit, while you was going through your pain and all of that, they not going to be able to hold that shit. <laughs> They not. They not gonna know what to do with themselves, and still gonna find a way to put the blame on you. Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. It's like, damn. See, and this is why you in that situation, cause you don't know how to be accountable. And even if they are accountable, they say shit like this. Well, at least I said this because I didn't have to. But you did, and that's the point. So because you feel like you only want to be held accountable for certain shit, the Most High is going to make it to where you're going to be held accountable for every fucking thing that you've done. 2002. 
2002 could be significant. That was for somebody. 2016, 2017. But these people really have no idea. They have no idea. And it just was sunny out here. And the clouds... The clouds is they getting dark, yo. It's really about the rain on these people's parade. It's really about the rain on their parade. You don't mind the rain though. You don't mind the rain. You know how to dance in that shit. You know how to smile through that shit. You really know how to smile through adversity. And motherfuckers, they, they don't like that either. They don't like the fact that you be down and you still find the little shit. You still find the silver lining. You still find the goodness. And they don't know how to embody that energy. But like I said, they've had numerous chances, numerous times to get you the fuck up out of the way and they failed miserably. So if you've been worried about when something is going to turn around for you, please just keep clearing your energy. Try to ignore the bullshit and please I put emphasis on try because people are going to test you. They're going to test you. Listen to your intuition. Be discerning. Somebody's name could be Billy. But be mindful of these energies. If you know that you've been having um, a good day and out of nowhere, you start to feel sad. You start to get a, 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 a burning sensation or something like that in your chest. It's them fuck ass people fucking in your energy. Now, you can return it or you can fight back because that's your energy. And you didn't give a motherfucker permission to be up in your shit. So if a motherfucker up in your shit and they get exposed and then be like, oh, can you stop doing this? Or can you stop doing that? Well, bitch, if you gonna stay the fuck up out of my energy, I'll think about it. See, they wanna try to expose you for shit when you don't even know these people, you don't uh, be around these individuals or nothing like that. And they feel like they can come in, right? Cross your boundary and do whatever they want. And you might call them a bitch and then be like, well, can you stop calling me a bitch? But these are motherfuckers that have been trying to kill you for 20 fucking years. Fuck out of here, bitch. <laughs> I don't want to go through this and I don't want to go through that. Well, well, guess what? That's what you asked for. Because that's what you put out there. You get what you ask for. You get what you give. And this is why this is going to be their karma. So everything that you've gone through, every uh, time you had to be put out of a house, every time you lost a job, every time you lost a friend or a family member, Anytime uh, somebody got smart with you just because they was having a bad day. Listen, all them motherfuckers, all of them, they going to understand not to fuck with you. They going to understand. And I'm speaking from experience. Because anybody that played in my motherfucking energy and was on that bullshit, trust me, I got plenty of info. And they know that I'm the fucking authority in my shit. 
and they don't want no smoke. And even if a motherfucking nigga or bitch keep coming in my energy, they get the fuck exposed. Sometimes you do got to teach a motherfucker the place that they need to be put in. And sometimes you got to do that shit. It is what it is. So, had a motherfucker wanted a different role in your story, they would have played a different fucking part. And right there, I'm going to end it. I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you later.